We've been doing these house calls, but where did the Olympic houses start? Well, right here, 92 in Barcelona with nothing but a tent. Fast forward to 2000, the Aussies, well, they didn't know how to speak Dutch. They couldn't get in. So they opened it up to the public. It essentially is just water and flour. I, I feed my starter and people get really freaked out when I say feed my starter. They think <laughs> it's like, <"Wah!" laughs> um, it's just flour and water that I'm feeding it. Yeah. Just to name a few, nine different events, four in snowboard, five in freestyle. That's a lot of stuff happening. Sometimes hard to keep straight, including the fact that, uh, Craig, We've got snowboard slope style. It's starting like now. Like I, I have to. I am He's so sorry. You go. You're you calling go. it. You go. you go. Okay. He's got a job. Trevor Knowles, you came in here hot, went in pool B, defending champion. You did it again. Is it feel the same or is it different every time? Welcome to Toyota Home Team Celebration Sunday. And well, I've lost a co-host. However, I've gained many more friends. So you have more energy than me. <laughs> Switching things up for seasons. However, I mean, we bring in colors a lot through thro throws. That's my favorite thing. Perfect. Because it's, it's cold, right? Absolutely. It, but storage space, like how do you do this when you well, yeah. Alina Zekitova, she was on the ice before you and you were pacing in the background getting ready and the crowd went wild for her. How do you stay composed in that moment before your skate? And celebrate these athletes. Celebrate the athletes and speaking of family, you have two kids. Would you let them on this track? <laughs> I don't think my eight-year-old would go anywhere near it, but my five-year-old daughter, I think she'd go for it. I think I, she'd okay, try it. Okay, your five-year-old, yeah. my four-year-old will send them down at some yeah. point, but hopefully we don't have to do it. We don't really want to see our kids do it. So let's watch Reed Whiting do it. Because when he walks us through the stroke, when he walks us through the symptoms and the moment to moment of how they realized he was having a stroke, getting him to the hospital, but what that period looked it's like. A lot. Well, we're human beings, which means we're imbalanced probably in more ways than one. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, and what is more Canadian than multiculturalism? I'm Kelly Vanderbeek. I will be your host today. And this is the Americana Art and Dance Association. Sorry. Do you just say that because you wish all the women were wearing nothing? Kind of, yeah. Okay, yeah. As the night rolls on, the crowds are getting bigger and bigger. And the athletes, well, they keep getting eliminated. So they join the crowds. There are 16 athletes left. You know what that means? Men's quarterfinals. To break down the action, here's Troy and Reed. Story. And there's a lot of stories to come here in the Olympic Games. And a way that we promote stories that are to come, Promoji Challenge. Oh, promo okay. oh it's no. Time. <laughs> Welcome to day five of the Calgary Stampede, presented by GMC. With your world famous recipe. Tell world us what that is. Street. World Same famous. thing. Um, <laughs> my, I have a three year old son, and he literally, a few months ago, we travel along. He's like, Mom, can you teach everybody to cook your bread? And so I'm here to teach everybody how to cook. Here we are. So 102 medals have been handed out at these Olympics more than ever, and there's one left to go. This marks day 16, and welcome to Olympic Overnight. I'm Kelly Van. No secret that Serena is an intimidating and formidable opponent, especially this year in 2015, as she holds a 100% win record on hard courts. Now, I asked her, only half joking, if she could remind us that underneath it all, she's still fallible like the rest of us. Are getting these special little bands. Yeah. This is, this <laughs> is not right. anything to do with anything gray. Anyways, wow. um, <laughs> really? I wow. went there. Um, right. Okay, and now we got balls. <laughs> and Calgary Stampede defending champion Stephen Peebles, we're gonna see if he hits the ground bucking. Here is Butch Knowles and Mark Lee. I'll go there. Canada's Jacqueline Legere, she needs a win if she wants to three-peat as world champion, but she also needs American Amanda Trenzo to falter because Trenzo's on track to make history.